Well, shalom, my name is Dr. Richard Nickel. Let me start off by telling you a little bit about my family background. We were very proud of being Jewish. All my grandparents were Eastern European Jews. My father had been a veteran uh, during World War II. I was bar mitzvah in, the, in an Orthodox synagogue, as were my, my two brothers. That sense of Jewish continuity and Jewish existence was very, very prominent. We never talked about God, ever. My parents are what I would call functional atheists. They just, for whatever reasons, just didn't believe that God existed, and we never talked about it at home. However, I, as a young person, even as a little kid, had a strong sense that there must be a God. When I was a little boy, actually in fifth grade, I started studying the trombone. Trombone became my identity. Rich, the trombone player. I decided to become a music major in college and went to Ithaca College. Each semester, we were required to endure what was called a jury exam. And there was my professor and the other professors and a music stand, and I had to play. I played horribly. I viewed myself as being the stupendous budding trombone player, and I sounded horrible. My lips were chapped. The air wasn't going through. Nothing was working. My teacher said, Rich, we hate to tell you, but you're going to be put on academic probation. I was shattered by that. I decided after that traumatic moment that I was going to practice like mad and I was gonna study like crazy. I will become good at it. And so I followed my high school teacher to Ocean City, New Jersey, and I worked and I worked and I worked. And when I had time off, I would um, go to the Ninth Street Beach. And one day, two college-age young men came up to me on the beach and out of nowhere asked me if I would be willing to take their religious survey. What was your religion? I said, I was Jewish. Do you believe in God? I said, yes, I do believe in God. At the end of the survey, they asked, who is Jesus according to your understanding? I had no idea what to say. You're, you're a young man, there's a lot of things you don't think about in life, and I never thought about him at all, ever. So I answered, I think he was a great teacher and a great philosopher. However, this interaction with these two guys resulted in my getting to know them as believers and finding out about their world. The main thing that surprised me was one of these two guys, whose name was John, was Jewish, and he believed in Jesus. I never heard of such a thing in my entire life. And I'm asking him all kinds of questions about becoming a follower of this Yeshua, this Jesus. I remember the last question I asked him was this, if I believe in Jesus, am I going to have to give up trombone? And his answer was very wise. He said, Rich, I don't know what God will take out of your life, but whatever he takes out, he will put something back that's better. At that moment, after John's answer to my question, I decided to pray and come to this Yeshua, this Jesus. And I can tell you that when I opened my eyes, I, at that moment, was flooded with a sense of forgiveness, of well-being, a sense that were before, because of my sins, God and I were at odds. Now we were like this. Looking back over my life, I can just say thank you to God for the blessings that he has showered upon me. Not only has he granted me forgiveness of my own sins through Yeshua, which is very real to me, but on top of that, he's blessed me with a fantastic wife. He's given me four wonderful grown children. He's given me four grandsons. I hold their hand when we walk around with the Torah processional. He's also returned music to me. I do music better now and more now than I did when I was young. I thank God for that wonderful day in 1971 when I surrendered and said yes to Yeshua, 
and Messiah.